Jack and I are friends now. That's all. What kind of a friend chases a guy across country after he's abandoned his wife? I didn't chase anybody. I was trying to get him to come home. And then just as friends, of course, you managed to spend the night in a motel room in Pittsburgh with him. You were there? Oh, God, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you come in? Well, I didn't want to interrupt. There was nothing to interrupt, Janet. Jack needed you. You just walked away. Don't pretend like you care about my marriage. I know you don't. I got Jack to come home for Thanksgiving to you. Oh, oh, that was for me. Yes. Well, then why is he spending more time with you than he is with me? I have no idea. I think I have a clue. It's because Craig left you for your sister, and that's got to hurt. That has nothing to do with Then let's be honest. It's much better to turn to another man, right? Even if he is taken. I am not trying to take Jack from you. I waited a long time to meet a guy like Jack. But you, you change men like you change your clothes. And heaven knows you never have an empty closet. I have a meeting to go to. An AA meeting? Yeah, because I'm a drunk. And you're not. Another reason you're a much better wife for Jack than I ever was. Get out. Carly. Save it. I'm not going to give Jack any more messages from you. You want to talk to your husband, give him a call. Leave me alone. <laughs> 